solutions to last Wednesday's homework and um, it was an exam question uh, so <sighs> part of the reason I gave an exam question because I wanted you to see what they were like all these chapters have been so kind of information heavy and all the time I've been trying to say to you that like yes yeah, some of it needs to be learned off but a lot of it is just common sense and I think um, information about climate change and even though you may not have heard of biodiversity before we talked about it last week you know you know about it you know that there are um, animals that are losing their habitat around the world you know because of climate change because of global warming because of building because of all sorts of things so I wanted to show you the question because it is as I've been saying it, it's quite logical and like the answers so anyway, we go through it. So global warming can cause melting of the ice sheets and glaciers, which is partly responsible for rising sea levels, namely human activity, which has led to global warming. Okay, and as you can see, this is from the exam papers, any valid activity. Okay, so you can talk about burning fossil fuels. You can name it, so you can just say like burning oil, burning peat, burning natural gas, like any of those. Um, deforestation, so cutting down trees, and anything we mentioned when we were talking about global warming and um, different ways of release, releasing those greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Get you three marks there. State of consequence of rising sea levels in coastal areas, and um, so again, any valid consequence. So the most obvious one is flooding. Um, we talked about that because the sea levels are that bit higher anyway that it doesn't take as much rain to cause a flood so then the floods are happening more regularly um, and they have erosion there as well and they have loss of habitat okay so and these are just examples so this list is not it like so you may well have come up with another consequence which would have got you three marks and if you're not sure whether your consequence would have got you three marks and you weren't one of the people I checked um, you can send it on to me and just ask like would I have gotten my three marks for this answer okay I was saying when we were going to the chapter kind of if you go with the most obvious one um, you know what's the consequence of rising sea levels flooding is the most obvious answer and um, so rather than going for something obscure if you're going for something quite obvious it makes it easier to mark um, ice sheets are the natural habitat of animals such as polar bears. State one adaption of polar bears that makes them suited to this habitat. Now, I don't think we talked about this particular thing. This, this is kind of um, more evolution and stuff and how animals grow to adapt to live in their habitats and their environments. Um, but I didn't think this was a question that you couldn't come up with. Like, So something about a polar bear that makes it suitable to live where it lives. It's colour. Okay, it has that incredibly white coat. Um, you have fat under the skin. Why would that be there? Because it's cold, and that would be very insulating. And um, big, thick fur. Again, it's cold. Wide paws that would help with friction and grip. And um, because obviously it's ice. Uh, their claws. Uh, and their teeth but it doesn't really matter and um, I'd imagine one of the first two is what most people and most of them as I read that's what you went with uh, so their colouring or the fact that they have a thick layer of fat under their skin to keep them warm so their coats I suppose to keep them warm as well would you expect the population of polar bears to increase or decrease as the ice sheets melt three marks for simply decrease and again this doesn't fall under biodiversity but I thought it was quite straightforward when solid ice changes to become liquid water, it's called melting. What is the name given to changing state when liquid water becomes ice? When water turns into ice, that's what change of state is. Freezing. All right, so that was an exam question from this, like last year, 2019, um, which was kind of about most of the stuff we've been talking about recently, but you can see that the level of detail compared to what we studied where you need like six and seven different types of way a habitat can be destroyed you don't okay you really really only need kind of one for each thing 
you know, make sure you know one consequence of global warming, one cause of global, you know, that type of thing. Like the, the questions are quite vague, but they leave it open. All right, so hopefully that went okay. Um, please let me know if you have a que if you have an answer that you want to check would actually get marked. You know, check approved.